grab by Ephraimidas. He's a sandwich to knock down. Now Dean after it. Ephraimidas tried to center it. He's got it now in the corner. Comes out in front and gets a backhand away and scores. individual effort for Anna Ephraimidis, who came out from the corner to the right of the Kodiak's net and was allowed to come right across the crease and then puts the puck in behind Nick Jones. And the Oil Barons have the early lead, one to nothing. Ephraimidis has his sixth goal of the season. And the Kodiaks will have to come from behind in this one. Right at the uh, Oil Barons' blue line, but now a steal, Ephraimidis, a shot saved by Jones, the rebound is knocked away. Truman to Ryan Sullivan, stopped his line, tipped in front, saved by Jones, rebound, he dies, and he's might have stopped that one too, as Justin Ross had a big opportunity, and I think Jones got a piece of it, sliding across, there's a shot that misses the net, comes off the backboards, and Nick Jones puts his glove on it. Now near side, lost it, here's Goche now, shot, and blocked, he tried to come in front, and Gow's about to get a penalty here for goaltender interference, and now he gets a pushing side of the net, now we might get more as uh, Dany trying to get his glove free to go after Callum Gow. Gow threw a right, Dany throws a right, now Gow with a left, oh, big left by Gow, that one stuck, oh goodness, now Gow with an overhead right, and he connects, oh, and another thunderous right by the captain, as he knocks Dany to the ice, oh, and now Nadler's in the face of Gow. And now he has to go through Brenner to get to the dressing room. Oh, goodness. Well, that escalated quickly. The center still with it. Dumps it in. Pass in front. Here's another pass. There's a shot. Big save by Nicholas Jones as he comes across and robs the Oil Barons player. Now a pass in front, looking for Horan. Comes down, walks in front, shoots, save made by Nadler off Horan. Boulders only had uh, maybe one practice or a couple of practices. So there's a shot they score. Right off the face off. the face off and Ryder Mater with a bullet and beats Nicholas Jones and the Oil Barons have the insurance goal and now lead this one by a score of two to nothing and for Mater his eighth goal of the season It'll be an obvious assist on that one whoever won that draw might have been Wallace and the Oil Barons get the big one here they lead it now two to nothing the center, Conroe, he'll flick it back to Callahan, Callahan, he'll get it to uh, Sullivan, shot, save, I made a rebound, shot, they score! The Kodiaks come right back, and Rock Truman, 42 seconds after the Oil Barons made it 2 nothing. Truman scores, and bingo bongo, it's 2-1. to one. So it took 42 minutes and 20 seconds with just one goal and now two goals in 42 seconds. And Truman has his 13th to match his number. And the Kodiaks have uh, <laughs> got right back in this one, two to one. And the Oil Barons will get the puck though. Here's Ty Wallace now. Wallace, a pass across. McCoy, empty net shot, scores. get credit for the goal it actually eventually went off the stick of Ryan Sullivan as he tried to save that but it went into the back of the net so so that'll be a four on four empty net goal 
And now, uh, what do we got? Stays four on four. And three one oil barons. Block. Condor on the near side. That's going to do it. Oil barons will prevail. As uh, they'll win this one by a score of three to one. And unfortunate penalty there at the end of that game. Goodness, and now some jawing at the two benches, but the Oil Barons win this one 3-1. to one. Fortis Alberta postgame show coming up from the Hometime Realty Broadcast Center. This is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiak Saki, a new country, 98.1 FM.